All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Celia is Missing Chronicle has come to a close. Because here she is. Welcome. Celia is Missing. <laughs> and also we have a plus one again. Hello. Hey, Jordy. Welcome back, Jordy. You're actually just in time for us to come to the Desert Palace. Ooh. Welcome. And yeah, no, Matt, Matt was not fooling. It turns out that last part, this music goes hard right off the bat. I'm not much of a fan of desert levels, and yet Spirit Temple is my favorite te temple in all kinds of time. Well, how about Desert Palace in this game? This is my favorite temple in this game. Mainly because I just love the sand rod and the min the uh, manipulation with it. It does lead to some fun puzzle platforms. Also, you know, I danger. love how you literally go roundabout there when you could just went back on. It's saving his magic, the, Was the skulls worth it? Where the skulls worth it? Yes, gems. Anyway. You never know what's inside those skulls until you pop one open. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. The brand new... Oh, jeez. Oh, hey. Back. Hey, it's a rat. Back, you rat. There's the rat. So, yeah. And then, are... and then there's this thing. Also oh. a rat. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this gibdo. I genuinely would love to see somebody Which react into what these things are... I would love to see what these things- I would love to see people react to what these things are called. Like, show them a rat, it's like, Oh, that's a rat! Correct! Show them a snake. Oh, that's a snake! No, that's a rope. What? Show that's them the rope. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a, a rope. rope! No, that's a whip. What? Oh, the game does were stealthless this whole time. Yeah, uh, that's actually a funny thing. I, depending on the game, the give, give those can either be stealthless in disguise or redeads. Yeah, huh. Never yeah, the same I, thing twice. I think I, I mentioned this there. a couple parts ago, but I think but I think I said that Redeads I learned are made out of clay. Which is yeah. weird because I was always mm -hmm. under the impression that they were supposed to be reanimated high, highly highly. That's corpses. what I thought too. That's what I mean, that's what Ocarina yeah. of Time insinuated. Right, like yeah. zombies. Got that. Alright. But yeah. Except in except in Ocarina of Time you can't burn Gibdos to become Redeads. In Majora's Mask you can. Uh, well, I mean, again, it's this is also the part where we have to suddenly take a step back and realize we're arguing about lore and character design in a, a fictional Zelda game, so... I wasn't arguing about anything, I was just stating a fact. We're just like, wait a minute, how does this make sense? Oh, that's right, it doesn't have to. So, as far it's as the Zelda. puzzle platform we go... When has good. Zelda ever made any excuse me fucking sense? Excuse me? Says the lady that's a part of Zelda Universe now. You gotta, you gotta do them researching. Oh my god, I just realized I gotta work on the more Korok seeds before you I move. <laughs> You gotta do more Korok Damn seeds. Damn it! Yeah. How many were you up? I'm not even halfway done yet. I'm almost there. See, Lee, I've been telling you, it's a literal headache and a half to get all 900 some odd Korok seeds just for that golden piece of poop. Hey, I, like I said, I'm doing it because no one else is. You know what? The best part about that game is that to actually complete the whole, like, just the amount you need, it's less than half. You know, you know, yep. but you know what I get out of it? I get hmm. tons of volunteer hours out of it. I can put this on my resume as volunteer hours. Wait, this actually counts as volunteer hours? Like, really? I actually did not yeah, think Yeah, I that's... can. This is a volunteer position I'm doing. Because otherwise I'm thinking, like, I'll admit, when I was thinking about this, I when I thought of community service, Korok seed hunting was not what immediately came to mind. <laughs> oh, sure. I'm I volunteer. I, I'm, I'm the recording team. This is a volunteer position. Okay. Dang, why nice you could that? She volunteered to distribute people. I'm so sorry. I'm having a really odd thought of that. If, say, a shoplifter was assigned 30 hours of community service and a genuine option on his list could have been Korok seed hunting. <laughs> <laughs> it's about as tedious. But I'm not sure if oh. I can count the actual hours in the game because I've left the game running but not using it. So Why the amount of hours I put into there. the game... Nice. The, the amount of hours I put into the game would be totally inaccurate. Mm -hmm. And it's good. So, uh, so that... I'm not really sure how to count my hours at this point. I mean, it's not like you're doing a speed run at this point, so. Yeah, it should be fine. Ah, oh, this that. is where we get the uh, upgraded, right? Yep. I think so. Right. I mean, again, that's the beautiful <laughs> thing about the quote-unquote low, quote low rule dungeons is that while you already got all the tools necessary to beat the game, go, d going through these dungeons still gives you some sort oh. of incentive. Yeah. Oh my I, god, it like reminds that. me of those, uh... Um, Pill I don't bugs. know what those bugs are called, but I remember, like, seeing a video where so some guy had a bug that looked just like that trapped in his ear. Yeah. What? No. Was that, is that, was it an earwig? No, earwigs are smaller. No, this thing was huge. It was inside this guy's ear canal. They pulled it out with some tweezers, and it... it you would think it was so big, you would think it wouldn't fit inside a Well, I'm putting my drink away. Thank you, Seely. <laughs> I was almost okay. done with this coffee. 
<laughs> Thank you. You almost did it. You almost did it, man. You were so close. Hype. Can we go Hi Hype. one fucking recording without talking about disgusting shit while I'm eating or drinking? Uh, uh, you, uh, dude, this sounds like a you. I'm, I'm, I'm noticing the patterns. You gotta stop eating while we're doing this stuff. Yeah. Like, like James keeps saying, stop eating. I mean, he's gotten on my case about it. Well, because it makes noise. Dude, those crunches are loud. <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway. Also, Hype, in the bleachers up there, how are you doing? Oh, wait, that's a ceiling? <laughs> that's not a ceiling. It's a ceiling. It's like a bridge kind of thing. Yeah, and we're we'll beneath see. it. There it that's, goes. That's what I meant. There you go. Yeah. So, Hype. Yes. Sorry that we were sorry that you were kind of like just on the outskirts there for a little bit. I was gonna ask. It's pretty much become routine at this point. And that's why I'm here. Do you, and what I know, do, I appreciate you, man. I will what, smack what were you. Your, what were why are you smack me? Why were you Not you. What? Him. Okay. What were your thoughts on the what are your thoughts so far on the Desert Palace and <laughs> I'll be back the and I gotta get some water. Sounds right. good. And bye, Gibdo. Oh, he's back. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were saying, Peon? <laughs> I'm back. Anyway, so yes. Hi, what are your thoughts on the Desert Palace with the Sand Rod and whatnot? Um, I remember liking the dungeon perfectly fine. Um, Again, it's one of those things that reinforces the fact that I really do need to replay this soon. Because, like, aside from, like, certain elements of certain dungeons, I don't really remember a whole lot of the dungeon play in this game. I... I mean, from what I'm seeing, I definitely see what James was talking about in that the Samrod actually is incredible for creating your own walls to merge with. It's just oh. a shame that it's a shame that you only really get the most out of that with this dungeon. Everywhere else, you primarily <sighs> it's primarily just for like a side gimmick or something. Anyway, Titan's Mitt. Now we can pick up just about anything. And I think that's where my initial complaint came from was that the Samrod is very context sensitive, unfortunately. Unless get unless Yuga just so happens to have. A dungeon that is filled to the brim with sand, it's not gonna be like you're acing the hole kind of weapon. Noise? What noise? What? No, what noise? What noise? I was I was bringing back my water bottle and then I hear this like this like noise and I'm like, what the hell is that? Oh, oh it's my water it, bottle. Yeah, I was saying it must be your water bottle like releasing pressure. <laughs> no, your water bottle just wants to give you a big old No, there's a fucking bug in your water bottle. Doesn't feels good, does it, Sealy? Da, da, da. Okay, actually, Matt, we get it. I actually, I actually no once had a water. I, I actually once had a water bottle that had a bug in it for a while. God like, damn it! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Talking about it. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, well, what happened? Well, what happened was, so I was camping and I got this water bottle that had a built-in water filter, so you could like just fill up straight from the river and you could drink it and it would be totally fine because the the straw had a filter in it. It was like a hefty uh -huh. filter too. Mm -hmm. So my water bottle had like one of those little like little water boat bugs. The ones that kind of like did, did swim around. They kind of like paddle oh, around. The water Water skimmers? Yeah, I have one of those guys. So, Jordan, how's your day been? My day's been peachy. Thank you for asking. Peachy. You're very welcome. Oh, so I literally had to just open my fucking water bottle to check if there was a bug in it. Thanks, you <laughs> assholes. <laughs> the, the, likely, the likelihood of a bug being in your water bottle, anybody who's listening to this, the likelihood of a bug being in your water bottle is low, but never zero. Hey, for those that are watching right now, is this, is this conversation bugging you all? <laughs> Would you all shut up? And if so, good, because I hate these enemies. If I had a nickel for every time there was a bug in my water bottle, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but, they, but it's weird that it's happened twice. Was that crunching <laughs> too loud? No. I didn't no. hear any crunching. I didn't hear any crunching. I didn't hear but... anything. I think Discord's getting better, though. I was eating some seaweed. I'll let you know on playback, Sealy. Anywho. Remember, Discord, Discord's noise suppression has gotten a lot better in the, these past few years. In fact, oh, a little yeah, too that's good. Right. I was going to say, yeah. some would say yeah. a little bit too well. You know, I'm not gonna lie, like, I know it's not a big deal for some people, the idea of eating seaweed still feels so weird to me. It's not too bad, it's basically- If it, you have it, it really with, like, is, sushi, it, it's fine, but, like- well, uh, no, Honestly, I'm fine with even eating, eating a plain, like, the winter, I, like, Yeah, I, stuff. I it, am too. I don't I get mean, it. Like, there are times where I just straight-up crave seaweed, and I don't know Well, why. I'll say right I now- mean, Go ahead. To be fair, it is oh, kind of a common it. delicacy in Japan. Oh, like, right. how do you think they make onigiri? But right. I'm not so Japanese. So well, I also make squid jerky. So let that say something. So I will say Magic. from what I, so what mm. I, I, I will say. Calamari is, sounds good. Shovel. So That's I will a say, shovel, right? So it works well enough. I will say from my experiences, seaweed isn't bad. Nice. Seaweed isn't Ooh. bad because it effectively is 
pretty much flavorless apart from the salt that's in the yeah. seaweed because the salt water. So it's and basically I, is just. And I love me some salt. So it's basically just. It's basically just a. I guess, healthier kind of cracker. Like, if you're just craving something salty but don't want to, like, have all the carbs and stuff, then seaweed. Yeah. One thing ah, I really like doing later. is, like, I like, like, uh, any type of r white rice, like jasmine rice, mm -hmm. I like putting, uh, what is it, rice vinegar, like rice wine vinegar. The uh -huh. And the rupee is gone. Darn. Yeah. Well, and, and, and then... It was, like, I, 20 bucks. We'll be fine. And then I put Whoa. some seaweed in a bowl, and nice. I pour the rice over it, and I wrap the rice in the seaweed. Nice. So it means you make your own little teeny like sushi stuff. It's not exactly sushi because it doesn't have any like fish or meat, but I don't think it. Yeah, actually, yeah, fire, fire, seaweed wrap. Then. But if if I do, I like putting imitation crab in it. Uh, hey, James. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of things that have absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking about, um, have you been watching any of the new Jellystone show that's been out? I have not. I mean, I I've seen bits and pieces of it via trailers, and it's like it's. I mean, it definitely does feel like something that would be made by, you know, Bye. the same people that made Chowder. Oh. Can, can I actually yeah. mention one thing that made me fucking oh. laugh about that? Oh. What's nice. up? Uh, the fact that because of that dumbass, because of that dumbass Banana Splits movies, it, yes. like the, the fucking Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff Yes, the one, horror one that, yeah, they yeah, that, actually, that was based off of script. Yeah, they actually made them fucking villains in the show. Really? Huh. Really? Yeah. Well, not that? like not like in the same vein as the movie did, but yeah, they're basically kind of like I, I think some people. I think one person compared them to like the Gang Green Boys from Powerpuff How? Girls. How? How do you get so to that just, chest? Oh yeah. So they're just. So, I don't know. We'll have to figure out another alternative way. And I was saying, I mean, so okay, so they're basically they, they're set up like pranksters, which I'll admit, given their shifty looks, I could have imagined them being like pranksters even back in their original TV shows runtime. They even go to jail. Well, good to know. Do they eat jail yeah. food? I don't, I don't know, but anyway, I just thought I'd ask because basically from everywhere I've heard, the show act itself is actually not only surprisingly good, they have a lot, and I mean like a surprising amount of like deep cut references to a lot of Hammer Bear stuff. Like even some that I didn't think existed, like a, um, I'm trying to think. Like there's this one like cat group, I think it's called like the Chattanooga Cats. Apparently huh. their reference is animatronics at one point. It's like there is, unless it's Flintstones, Jetsons, or Scooby-Doo, there is no stone unturned in Joey Stone. Pretty much every, they actually do mention like, I can, or not mention, but show, like, every single Scooby-Doo ripoff that Hanna-Barbera themselves made is referenced in that. Mm -hmm. Wow. The only so... thing, I, the only thing I, I, I can also say on the matter, and I know you guys have brought it up at least once or twice, is apparently that a good handful of the characters that were added got a sex change. Um, a handful of them. There was there was Jabberjaw, uh, the the purple octopus. I forget her name, and the donkey that was Quick Draw McGraw's sidekick. So I guess really, huh? I, I guess, and I'll say I don't think I'm I don't think I'm against it. My 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 best guess is maybe they did that because they wanted to create more voice acting jobs for female. Cast I imagine members. it's for yeah. the sake of diversity, and, and diversity. apparently, yeah. like, and apparently, one of the character designers oh, basically said silly. that. As to, as to getting the chest, she was asking earlier. Continue. Okay, I was about to say, and, and what's funny is that, like, I think one of the character designers basically admitted that, like, their method of, like, deciding, oh, who would get sex changed, who would be the same, is that they, and basically, they threw all the character names into, like, a little, like, roulette thing, and just plucked randomly. <laughs> I feel like that's, that, mm -hmm. I'll admit, there's a part of me that feels like that's not... Uh, okay, there's a cynical part of my brain that's thinking, like, that's not intentional diversity, then, that's just... You did this because you had to fill out a checklist, so you just grab names at random in order to do it. Which well, yeah. I've seen, it's not like. Well, from what I've seen, it's not like the changed <sighs> characters are particularly offensive in that regard. They, no, they act like just... a side, like they act basically normal aside from that. No, That's I know. It just, it just, I, 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 I was, I was just thinking from that description alone. Was like, imagine if Yogi Bear ended up being one of those picks. Yoga. And I'm trying to think who would voice a gender bent Yogi Bear. <laughs> uh, I. I think Audit? of I, I can think of a couple I can think of a couple actresses, but Caitlin I don't know what you think of them. Caitlyn Shaw. Okay, I was thinking. You really like putting Caitlyn in a lot of stuff, don't you? Because she's. Let fun. him have this. Let you and just, I was thinking. Can't you, can't you imagine like a slightly deeper voiced Mabel for for uh, Yogi Bear? Oh, ah, ah, oh no! Fuja. My big 
<laughs> that's it. But no, I, Although I that being said, I will say I feel like if anything, I feel like she'd probably be more fitting for Boo Boo, especially considering nice. how Boo Boo is written in the show from what I've seen. I and then as for my I guess character, I was thinking of like I was think. Uh oh. Oh, noise. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. That's okay, it. Just those aren't spaghettios. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of uh, oh, what's her face mind. from um, I forgot her name. She's a hefty, she's a hefty comedic actress. She was in not Roseanne Barr. No, she's she's no no. But I was um, wondering if you were talking about her. Not Roseanne. No, no, she was in things like Identity Theft and the no, Happy Town. No, not Mark. Melissa McCarthy. No, give her a, throw her a bone for God's sake, Matt. Uh, is she I was gonna say, I, I, for a sec, for a second. She's Logan, allowed to have one good role. Come on. To be, for a she Logan, has. I thought, sorry. For a second, Logan, I thought you were gonna bring up that movie I showed you, She Devil. Yeah, she. No, 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 no. That that that, that, that time's come and gone. But no. Um, just to let you know. I look. Awesome. She has some good roles. Like I, but amazingly, like one of my favorite comedies is the movie Spy. Because it's actually a legitimately good, uh, like, parody of spy movies. Spy movie? Oh, awesome. But, nice. it's the whole fact of, and I thought it was just, like, my whole mind going, like, playing tricks on me, going, like, man, it couldn't have been that good. I mean, it, it really, no, it, it actually is good. It has a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's really fucking that, good. That is actually um, very, very, very and, strong, very promising. Oh, yeah. I, and I, I, I actually do suggest we watch that. It's a good movie, but... Well, Aside so. from that, and maybe the heat with Sandra Bullock, I don't that like her good. in anything. Like everything else, she plays the exact same fucking character. Yeah, and yeah, but that's the, so, so that's the thing. You don't have to like Melissa McCarthy. You just have to like Melissa McCarthy as Yogi potentially, if given the opportunity. <laughs> you I'm don't not have to, you to like, like her. You just have to like her if she was this. No, I'm saying I'm saying like her as a role. Like like you said. Like yeah, just somebody give her casting direction to say, hey, be Yogi. I don't know. Fair. This conversation took a really weird turn. So yes, it did. Uh, and I was actually gonna come back to the game real quick and say, yes, like, please. if you don't have been noticing, like, how fucking swiftly I've been doing a lot of these challenges in the. Oh. I didn't know you guys you begin to with ask that. why why I did that, I don't know. and just go back to the fact that with how swiftly I've been doing all these challenges, it's part of the reason why I think this is one of my one of the best Zelda games out there because it's it caters to my need for speed. And I no, I, I I think that's uh oh. Uh -oh. Huh. No. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We have our own bombs. But no, I, I, I agree with you in that, like, I like that you don't feel corralled to, like, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. Like, if, you, if you've if you come far enough, wrong Ooh. wand, if you've come far enough to, you know... I really should your, put that damn thing away. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're gonna yeah, why don't you do that right do. now? Yes. To, uh, to ask that to pass me. Dude, we're 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 riding on the edge of the seat on this one. We don't know when he's gonna do it. Right anyway, I was gonna say that yes, if you if you take the time to fill out your arsenal, you get to feel that powerful and that well equipped. I appreciate that because yeah, you've been putting a lot, you've bought in all these goodies, you've been upgrading them. Like hell yeah, you should be allowed to feel powerful in this dungeon. Yeah, and even then, it's like, again, it all helps too, because this is the most mobile Link in this style of Zelda play. I'd, argue, I'd honestly argue he's, this is the fastest Link he'll ever play, ever. The only yeah. thing this you need, you, the only thing you're missing... It, go ahead. This game will let you be, Link. The, uh, this for, game say, has was, everything. It has a fast say, Link. It has, sorry. I was going to say, it has, a, it has a little bit of something for everyone, and I was thinking, uh... I was thinking the only thing that I feel like is missing as far as movement is I wish that there was an option to let you roll like in Minish Cap, like rolling on ground. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I could that would be cool, all things considered. But it, this again, this like moves so fast where that almost feels like a non-issue. And even oh, yeah. then, you still have your Pegasus boots. Release the sand. That's a lot of sand. Ah, the shorts. Meanwhile, some poor beach is just like, dead. and they're just getting the whole beach is being drained of all its sand. Anyway, now here's the interesting little twist regarding the desert palace. All this time, we've primarily been going through this whole dungeon in Hyrule. However, this all has to link back to Low Rule somehow. Oh, obviously well, not in the sand. <laughs> right. No, but you're right. Yeah, because there was supposed to be. Because yeah, there was never any desert in Low Rule. We had to go into Hyrule and behold. There it is. Oh. I am going to say. This is my favorite dungeon in the game. This is my least favorite boss in the game. 
How come? He is fucking annoying. You are given the smallest of windows to actually beat him in. And it is so goddamn annoying. Woo. Hello, flower. It's a pretty little flower, but we must but we must uh, uproot it anyway. And as hey, you're definitely seen here, yes. It's by Alante. Oh actually, God, you right. say I, that. I was gonna say, like, actually, what is its name? I don't know. I don't know. Well, what when you were saying that, I was gonna say, hey, sis. I don't know. You want me to look at a? Well, no, no, no. Oh no, she's he's asking you a different question. Oh, what were you gonna say to me? Christ. I was gonna say, <laughs> hey, away. you're a weed. <gasps> a weed oh, in there we my go. yard. And yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I never. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And uh, yeah, as you're seeing Wait, here, what Matt, was that James, referencing? James is a the rapper. Rumor weed. The rumor oh. weed. Another thing I like about it, like, oh, yeah. the world's I'm asleep. a rumor weed. You're a talking carrot. Your Look point at you was. Go, James. That's sorry, James. You were saying? Another thing I like about a link between worlds, like I know I brought, probably brought it up before, but just look how fast this fucker swings that sort of it. Yeah, oh, for some yeah. reason, I, it, you must you must be using some kind of emulation power because I was He's never not. Able that to, that's the power no, of his really strength. Not. Like this is I'm literally tapping this fast. How do I never tap this fast? Okay, uh, I, I, okay, I'll say this, James. I'll say this, Matt, as a as as one point towards you, and not a point against James, but the fact that. Because of emulation, James can play this on an actual controller, and tapping away on the 3DS may not be as easy. Yeah, I don't know. that's uh, e even then. I didn't have that much of a problem doing that in the 3 on the 3DS either. I mean, granted, yes, they are smaller buttons to compensate, and I have fucking massive thunder thumbs right here. <laughs> but but thumbs also, thumbs. just holds up his thumbs; they're no. buff. No, but I was gonna say. Uh, but on the other end, on the other end, I was like, yeah, I, I will say a point to Mad. That took a crap ton of hits to take that yeah. thing down. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I haven't even powered up my master sword yet. But that being said, we finally freed our um, Uber driver. Hey, Jordy, you get to do voice acting again. Oh, good. Oh, do you holly. yeah, it's witchy poo. Hey, hey, you came to rescue me? Well, I, I don't know what to say, Linguine. But uh, hey, my fortune came true after all. Huzzah! You took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I yeah. was in big trouble, and I've got to get back to my gram. My yeah, about that. Gram. <laughs> uh, but that's all right. I forgive you. Just don't take that long to rescue me next time, okay? Okay. Up yours. And don't make any of the other sages wait that long either. Come on, get to saving the rest. Oh. Chop chop. <laughs> sure thing. Sure thing. <laughs> But now that I'm rescued, I can finally go home. Uh, yes, what? about that. You want more things? Ugh, tell you what, Linguine. Yeah? Save all seven of us sages, then I'll write a big, long thank you letter. But for now, thank just be careful, okay? I'll hold now, you the funny thing is that she's going to be stuck in here. Oh, God, sorry. And she never writes that thank you letter. Hmm. Huh? That we I know mean, of. That we know of, but yeah. Um, that's the funny thing regarding uh, Irene, though. We did save her life, and she'll st but she'll still be stuck inside that sage's sanctuary Place. or whatever. Yeah. The funny thing is, though, we can still use her broom for it for um, instant to transportation, and the funny thing is she'll talk to us tele telepathically doing so. Okay, mm -hmm. so, okay, so we, ha we haven't lost her as a character. Like, it's just kind of phoning home. The, yeah, the, co the, the uh, context has sort of changed somewhat, but either way, all's well that ends well. And uh, next time, we're heading on over to Sanctuary in Low Rule. Sounds good. That's us Yay. Till next time, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. How'd all the sand get in my shoe? So, Link, where's my home-cooked dinner? <laughs> <laughs>